This is Eugene Edwardkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP ProBook 4530S laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP ProBook 4530S laptop. Before we do anything, we want to remove the battery so that the laptop is safe to work on. And the way we do that, there's two levers on the bottom that you slide in. That lifts the battery up, and then we tilt the battery up, and then we remove it and put it on the side. So now we can work on the laptop safely. Uh, just like with most laptops, in order to get to the screen to this laptop, you need to remove the screen bezel. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove two screws on the bottom that are covered by some plastic covers. So uh, before we get started doing that, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use. We're going to need a small electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit or PH1 head. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. Just in case I have a second screwdriver with a PH0 bit, that's just a smaller Phillips head size. We also need an X-Acto knife, a utility knife, or a hobby knife with a point of blade to remove the screw covers. And a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. So let's get started. First, we're going to remove the plastic covers that are covering up the screws. And what I like to do with those is put them right to the side so that they don't get lost. One. And two. Okay, so this one, there's some oil on it so the cover is down here. So we're going to put it here so it doesn't get lost. Okay. Next, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screw. One and two. For each set of screwdrivers, I like to put them in a separate pile in the order in which they were removed. So when I put the laptop back together, I can keep track of which screws go where. Okay, and we remove this screw. Once the screws are removed, we can remove the screen bezel. It's, it snaps on, so we can snap it off. What I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. And when I hear snapping sounds, or when I see this bezel coming up, that's a good sign. So keep working around. And for this one, it looks like when you lift it up, if you push it out a little bit, that seems to work. So it's slightly different for each one. And also, if you lift it up along the seam on the outside, that seems to work. So take your time. Gently go around the whole screen bezel. Try different things, whatever works for you. Start with your fingertips on the inside, and then... If some other things work, do that. So kind of work your way out. If there's a part that's stuck, what you do is not leave that part alone and go to a different part that's not stuck and try to get that out. Okay. And what I notice when I'm doing this is that their hinge covers are separate part, are separate from the rest of the bezel. So what I want to do is reach in and see if we can loosen up the hinge covers. And we just put reach reach in with the either that or the screwdriver, or the tweezers or the screwdriver, and gently remove the hinges, hinge covers, so like that. If you have a flathead screwdriver, that works also. And um, 
put those to the side and also work this one out. And what we might have to do is loosen it from the back. One and two. And keep working it out. It's slowly coming out. Like so. And it's finally out. So work your work the hinge covers out too. And then uh, keep moving. So I'll snap the screen bezel off. And if it doesn't work from the top, go from the bottom. Okay, as you can see I'm struggling with this one somewhat. But we're all learning here, so keep moving. Snap it from the bottom. If you have a flathead screwdriver, that, that should help also. Okay, and now the bezel is out. Okay, since I struggled so much with this, let's go over what we need to do. So when the bezel is in, you snap it off on the sides, sometimes work on the seam here, and also either use the tweezers that you have or a flathead screwdriver to kind of reach in and scoop the hinge covers out. And the cables are hidden pretty far in, so there's no danger of damaging the cables. So kind of scoop the hinge covers out. And then on the back, you use the screwdrivers or your fingernails to kind of lift up the, the bezel from the seam and work it out that way. But it's after a while, you'll get it. Okay, now that the bezel is off, the next thing we have to do is get to the screws on the side of the screen that are holding the screen onto some metal mounting brackets on the sides. And the way we do this, we have to lift up the screen a little bit from the back of the screen assembly to get to those screws on the side. So um, there's several things you have to do for that. There are some screws on the top that are holding the metal mounting brackets and they're somewhat unusual looking so we're going to remove those screws. There's one. And I'm going to remove the second one. Like so. And then we try to see if we can move the screen up. The screen is starting to move up a little bit. So we can get to some of the screws on the side, but not to the bottom one. To get to the bottom ones, I have a trick. What I like to do is loosen the hinge screws at the bottom, not remove them all the way, but loosen them so I have more access to the sides of the screen because I can tilt it forward some more. You can kind of see that the back of the screen assembly is tilting back when I do that. So that's good. We can almost reach the bottom screw. And I'll show you which one I'm talking about in just a little bit. OK, as you can see, there's four screws on each side that are securing the screen to the metal mounting brackets. The one we're worried about the most is this one at the bottom. So I'm going to remove that one first, like so. One and once again start a separate pile for this set of screws. Two and when you're doing this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit because when you remove all the screws, you don't want the screen to fall forward on you. And I dropped that one, but I'll recover that one. And so we'll do the same thing, we'll reach for the bottom one like so. Grab it out and, and loose and remove the other four screws, the other three screws, one by one. Two. And three. And four. 
Once you remove the fourth screw, the screen is going to be loose on this side, so it's going to fall back. So we do the same thing on this side, like so. All right, the screen is loose from the mounting brackets on the top on the side, so we gently tilt the screen forward, make sure nothing's getting in the way. And next, we tilt the screen forward. Okay, this is a 15.6 inch LED screen, and it has a connector on one connector on the bottom left when you're looking at the screen with it flipped over. And we want to remove this connector. First, there's some adhesive tape on top that we lift up. And usually the, the video cable has some adhesive that sticks to the back also. So we want to lift that up. And in this particular case, there's some extra adhesive tape that we lift up like so. Okay, and we keep slowly lifting it up. Once we lift it up, we can pull the connector out. So let's pull the connector out. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to put the connector back in again, because when people do it at home, this is the biggest source of trouble that I see is that the connector is not properly inserted. Now, when you insert the connector, you'll feel not here two clicks on there. That means it's properly engaged. Let's also get a close-up, see what the properly connected connector looks like. Okay, now what's, what you see is that there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connector. The two sides of the connector connection I have to be flush. So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this. Then you have a proper connection. All right, so next we're going to take a look at this screen. There is one slightly unusual thing about this screen, but otherwise it's pretty standard. Uh, it's a 15.6 inch LED screen which as is as of late 2011 is the most popular screen type in laptop computers. The thing that is unusual about it is it has a matte finish. So when you order your screen, most likely you get a screen with a glossy finish. So if you really want the matte finish, you specifically have to request it. Otherwise, you'll probably get a glossy. Now, as far as function of the computer, it does not make any difference. It's just an aesthetic preference on the part of the user. Okay, let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LP156WH4. So when you do your search, you just type in LP156WH4. And once you get your screen in, uh, most likely it's not going to be the exact part number, but it's going to be a screen with a slightly different part number that looks almost exactly the same and it's 100% compatible. This is a pretty standard screen type. Uh, now you can also order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is we have a 100% compatibility guarantee. The screen will ship, your ship will guarantee you to be compatible. We also have free email technical support, so when you're doing the installation, we'll help you by email if you need. And also, we ship globally. We ship to most countries around the world. Okay, uh, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. On the bottom, click on Buy a Screen. Then on the new page, there will be a short form for you to fill out with a laptop model number and your email address. And then once you send that to us, we'll send you back a link to the right screen. Now, in addition to the screen, we also offer this toolkit for sale. You get all the tools necessary to do the job, and you can order it on the website from us when you order the screen. Okay, once you get your new screen in, you reconnect it, as I showed you before. Mount the screen on the two mounting brackets on the side, 
Remember to tighten these screws on the bottom once you mount it. Put the two screws in at the top. Then you snap the bezel back on. And then you put the two hinge covers back and kind of work your way in there and snap them back in. And actually putting them in will be uh, less difficult than taking them out. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.